know what time it is? It's time for Aunt Murda's Recipes. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Jack Scalfani here. And you know, the word of the day is community. You guys have bombarded the Cooking with Jack community. There are hundreds of people signed up. You guys are trading recipes over there. You're asking for cooking tips. You're giving cooking tips. In fact, there's a place to even uh, talk about kitchen appliances and utensils. And there's another place that you can post your food pictures. Go check it out, cookingwithjack.net. It's the new cooking community for all us foodies. So we can all get together and help each other. And it's growing fast. Uh, you, it's free to sign up, so just sign up and we can all chat about episodes. And you can also make some show suggestions. A lot of you have some great ideas, and I'd love to do your ideas. So go over to the community after this show and check it out. Right now, it's time for another, as you saw at the beginning of the show, Aunt Myrna. She's back. I love Aunt Myrna. And it's one of her recipes called Cheesecake Squares. Now, I just got it from her. I've never made this. But so far, Aunt Myrna's recipes have been amazing. Okay, so we're gonna make it. I don't know if it tastes like real cheesecake. I don't know if it's a different type of cheesecake, but we're gonna try it out and I'll show you. And it looks pretty simple. I don't have a lot of ingredients for this. So we're gonna bam, 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 and do it. So let's bring you in close and talk and show you how we're gonna do it step by step. Don't forget, recipes down below in the description area. As always, you got nothing to worry about. Just enjoy the show. Come on in. Here's the short list of it. Vanilla, butter, powdered sugar, cream cheese, Yellow classic cake mix, any kind of yellow cake mix, and eggs. That's it. All right, let's do it. All righty. First, you're gonna take the yellow cake mix, pour it in the bowl. Then you're gonna add a stick of butter in there. Try to get it to room temperature if you can. It always helps in mixing it in when you're, when you're baking. And we're gonna put in one egg, and you're gonna mix this all up. So let's get that mixed up first. Then we'll show you what's next. Okay, be sure to spray a nine by 13 pan or butter it, however you wanna do it. There you go. All right, we're gonna put this doughy mixture that we just created in the bottom of this pan. Make sure you wash all your hands. Get it all mixed up. Just gonna put it down here. Whoops. I'm just gonna put it right in the pan here. And uh, just take your hands and spread it out. You want a nice even layer. And it's gonna be very, very doughy. So give it a nice spread around. And then once you have the whole area covered, go ahead and pat it down so you can get that lower crust taken care of. There you go. Now, take eight ounces of cream cheese, mix two eggs, and here's the part where you guys freak out. You always do. We're going to take a whole box of powdered sugar. Yep, a whole box. Just get over it. There we go. Teaspoon of vanilla, which I will put in at the end. See this vanilla here? I'm not putting this in right now because it'll absorb right into the powder. So I'm gonna mix everything clean and then at, at the very end, I'm gonna mix in the teaspoon of vanilla. So let's do that right now. Okay, now before you, before you finish mixing this all, you wanna do your little, little teaspoon of, of vanilla. There you go. Get that flavor in there and then mix it the rest of the way. It'll, it'll blend much better this way. There we go. Beautiful. There it is. All right. Wow, this is so simple. We're just going to pour it right on there. And we're going to see how it works. It smells great. It smells like real cheesecake, too. If this is the case, it's going to be the easiest cheesecake I've ever done. Unbelievable. 
absolutely beautiful looking. Get all this goodness out here. Wow. Just a little bit of touch ups in the corners and we're good to go. Look at that. There it is. All righty, now, let's see what we gotta do. Oh yeah, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and bake for 30 to 40 minutes. All right, now, while Aunt Myrna's cheesecake squares are in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes, let's take a look at some of the pictures that you guys sent me, either by email or posted on the new cooking community. All right, so like this one right here. There you go. That is Fox Ninja 2411's Lazy Man's Chicken Crumble. Wow, you guys are awesome. You guys, like, some of you do this the same day I put the episode up. And then here is Howard Zoo's Bacon Explosion. And let's look at Cassie's Lazy Man's Omelet. There, beautiful, nice job. Andre's Pot Roast. How beautiful is that plate, huh? And Christina's Lazy Man's Omelet. And Katie's beef jerky. Yum. That's some good sauce she's using there too, huh? That teriyaki? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now let's go back to the oven. It's been 30 to 40 minutes, and we will check those cheesecake squares to take a look and see how good they are. I'm gonna let this cool down. As you can see, this is one of those, those desserts that as it cools, it sinks down. And it's starting to sink. I, wow, feel all that heat. Okay. I did leave it in for 34 minutes, and I should have only done 30 minutes, because you see this area here is a little, a little crusty. Now, it's, it's probably nice and flaky. I don't know for sure yet, but 30 to 40 minutes, 30 minutes should have been perfect for this. It's got that beautiful glaze on top. That's what's killing me. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get a little bit of a shine on, the, on that. It's just amazing. So we're gonna let this cool, then we're gonna cut it, all right? So let's give that a few minutes. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. If there is one thing about me that you guys know already, one of the worst things I do on this show is cut into stuff way too soon. But I can't help it. I don't know what's wrong with me. So I'm gonna move this in here so you can see me cut into this piece. It just, the, the crust is flaky. It's beautiful. Yep, beautiful. In fact, I'm gonna use a butter knife like I should to cut the rest of this. And then we're gonna try and get this out. I am the worst at this stuff, but I don't care. I'm not waiting any longer. Oh, look at this, stay together, stay together. Come on, baby, stay together for me. There we go. All right, a little messy. Not, oh wow, look at that. Look at this though. This is beautiful. This cake is so moist. Look at the crust on that. All right, you should let this cool a little bit longer, but I've got to try this. There it is. Oh, look at the side. Look at the layer. You can see the, oh, it's beautiful. The cake and the topping is so moist and so wet, exactly how you'd want it. And just to make sure, just to make sure we got, uh, Got no blemishes showing. It's real simple. You just cover up your blemishes with some whipped cream. There you go. See, it works out great. Okay, so let's give this a try and see how that is. Unbelievable. If this if this is delicious, Aunt Myrna, I, I love you. I, I know it's gonna be awesome. But if it is delicious, I'm gonna tell you right now that this was the easiest like cheesecake square thing I've ever made. It, I, I can't even. I, I know, I, I'm, I'm just stuttering. She did it. She did it again. Unbelievable, you don't believe me? Some, some of you go, well how come it's always good? Cause she's Aunt Myrna, that's why. Hold on a second. Hey Jack, come in here a minute buddy. Jack, come on, yeah, come on in here, watch the camera. Come here. Come here bud, come around the table. Okay, hey, dude, you're allowed to tell me this tastes like garbage, okay? Okay. You ready? This is the cheesecake square. There you go. Ready? He's going to be the honest truth here. Ready? Go. Mmm. All right, go ahead. 
Now, wipe your mouth so they don't see you, you look like a little piggy. Okay. Come over here. Come over here. I right, take your hand down. All right, how is it? Whoa! See? It's that good! Aunt Myrna, I'm sending the medical bill to you. All right, try this out. Took five minutes to make. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care. You okay? Okay. <laughs>